Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, it will be something very interesting. We will be looking at how we can create payloads for Windows systems that are undetected by the modern Windows Defender. So this is a very important skill set to have and knowledge to know. Because whenever we try to compromise a Windows system, it is very important to be able to create a payload that is undetectable so that we can gain initial access or foothold onto the Windows system. So for today's video, we will be looking at how we can set our environment up from scratch. So it is a very easy to follow tutorial and we will also be looking at how we can make use of open source tools to create and generate our payload launcher. We will definitely need to make modifications to the source code and to the template file. So first of all, let's download the Visual Studio together. You can download Visual Studio for free by selecting Community version on the Microsoft page. So we need to select the .NET Desktop Development. We will be building our payload in C Sharp. Let's download it and install the necessary packages. The open source tool that we will be looking at will be the Dual DLL Legions by Mandian. So this is a very good tool that is able to generate .dll payloads instead of exe payloads. So dll payloads are very useful because it will allow us to bypass application whitelisting which is very common in real world scenarios. We will be able to execute our dll payload by side loading. This means that we will need to use another program to launch our DLL payloads. Take some time to go through the readme. It is very useful in understanding how does this works. So let's download it. So there are two articles in the readme.txt file. It is highly recommended to read through them. It provides information on how this tool works and how to use this efficiently. For example, the blog post will provide information on how this tool supports different techniques for executing the shellcode. It will also provide information on what are the required export name so that the programs that we use to execute this DLL will be able to successfully locate the export name to execute the main function which will then load the shellcode. It is important to note that we will need to convert the shellcode to Base64 and input it into this tool. So this will all be explained later on in the video when we actually set up the tool. So for now, please read through both the articles and familiarize yourself with how this tool works on a high level first. So let's wait for the Visual Studio to finish installing and we will then get started. The waiting time for the installation will be edited out. Let's launch the Microsoft Visual Studio. So we can open a project or solution and select the new DLL legions SLN file. Let's go with the recommended option. So for this error, I have spent some time and I managed to troubleshoot it. So in order to resolve this error, we will need to download the Microsoft Build Tools 2015 as well as the .NET package for .NET 3.5. So we can download the Microsoft Build Tools 2015 from the Microsoft page. We will also need to install .NET 3.5 
we can do so by downloading it at the Microsoft page as well. Once the .NET 3.5 and the Microsoft Build tools are downloaded, we should then restart Visual Studio. I will be editing out the waiting time for this as well. Let's relaunch Microsoft Visual Studio after both the downloads are completed. If you see this prompt, click on restore so that we can get the packages source updated. Now let's change the environment to release and let's try to build the solution. We can see that the build is now successful and we managed to generate the deal DLL legions.dll payload file as the output. Let's try to execute the DLL payload file. We can see that the modern Windows Defender from Microsoft was able to detect the payload. So the setup for the new DLL Legions tool is now completed. In the next video, we will be going through how we can modify the source code and the template file to bypass the detection and create an undetected payload that works on Windows system. Please help to like and subscribe to the video. I will see you guys in the next one.